What is going on ladies and gentlemen? It's me Horcrux and boy do we have some drama filled video for you guys today and I'm personally involved in this one so sit tight, go grab you some popcorn and uh, let's hop into it. So as you guys may or may not know, The Elder Scrolls Online, Bethesda, they do this annual charity fundraiser for No Kid Hungry Foundation at which I was so lucky to be reached out to in, uh, in the events to participate. See here in this email, they got back to me in early October and I, reply, I, and I replied promptly around October 9th. So they knew I was interested in this fundraiser and we did an amazing, an amazing job on this fundraiser. We got almost $500 in donations. You guys are absolutely incredible. I'm gonna have a shout out community post to everyone who donated to the cause. While $500 may not seem like a lot, guys, that's 5,000 meals for kids in need. You know, they've been dealt a bad hand. They don't know where their next milk you know, is coming from. And this is just a good cause to get behind. So I was ecstatic to, you know, participate in this event. And not only is it, you know, just participating in the event, which I also made a permanent fundraiser because I believe in the cause so much, which is, a uh, you know, here on the channel. I also have links down in the description below. But the fact that it was part of ESO, I was like, you know what? It, it, it's, it's a game that I like. It's a good cause. I mean, it is a win-win. This is amazing. So what drama could possibly come out of this? Well, guys, like you may know here on the channel, we call a spade a spade. We do not simp for the Elder Scrolls Online or the devs or Bethesda. When they make a mistake, we call them out on said mistake. When they do good, we praise them, all right? We are non-biased in the decisions that are made at ZeniMax. If it is a bad decision, we are going to say it's a bad decision and we're going to give constructive criticism as to why it is a bad decision and how to fix it. That's what we do here on the channel. We do not just peddle the ESO fam represent BS jargon that 90 other percent you know, people do, right? So with that being said, it is very apparent that they watch my videos because anything we talk about, like the corrosive armor, all the bugs, all the exploits that we ever talk about, they are promptly fixed in a hot patch, like promptly, right? These bugs, and exploits have been in the game for for years and then the moment we ever talk about it it does get brought to their attention and they fix it pretty pretty fast which which is good i'm glad they watch my content if you're watching whoever made this decision let me show you guys whoever made this decision i don't think you should have your job so you may let's take a look at the eso homepage here for everyone who participated in the eso no kid hungry charity event do you guys notice something kind of kind of missing here do you do you guys let me <laughs> there there are nine people here ten people participated in the event uh it isn't it kind of weird that the one pvp here the the one person who is going to call zoss out on their false narrative and all of the dog poop that they try to shovel and feed you the fact that we do not eat the dog poop and we say what we're really thinking what we really feel isn't it convenient that they left us out of this list now, you could say, well, maybe this was a mistake. Horcrux, have you reached out? Yes, I have reached out every day. This doesn't mean anything to me. This means nothing to me, but to me personally, okay? But this is just a very, very small, is seemingly small detail that it kind of exposes the true limelight, the true spotlight, the true narrative of Bethesda and Zenimax. I've made so many videos where I've quit and came back and this is a this is really going to drive it home the fact that i am a pvp content creator and i call them out on bulls you know bs they intentionally leave me off this list in order to not promote my content whatsoever on the platform by them leaving me off this list they are essentially stealing from children in need by them not promoting me here, we could have gotten a lot more donations and a lot more traction than we already had going, okay? Just to push their narrative to not promote Horcrux whatsoever on the platform, don't give him any attention. Which, you know, maybe I'm taking that a little bit personal, and I should. This is a game that I have played off and on actively for the past nine years. I've always supported people playing. I've always helped those even though i take my year-long hiatuses i've always you know hyped up the game in some way shape or form how it's got the best combat and uh the only problem is the dev team and uh i'm not going to lay blame on the dev team for this there's obviously someone some underpaid intern who are making these 
decisions thereof. So I uh, just kind of give you guys a little proof that that's why I said at the beginning of the video uh, with the Yahoo, I p replied promptly on the 9th, or oh, Horcrux, maybe they just forgot. No, they haven't forgotten. I've reached out every day since. So here is everyone who participated. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There are 10 names here. And, oh, excuse me, we'll uh, come back to that one. There are nine, nine names here. So here we are. So not only did we do 163 during the, uh, the, the, the Saturday stream right here, you know, which isn't a lot, but you know, this, this really is a lot, guys. This is a, a lot of meals for kids. But I also went above and beyond and made a permanent Streamlabs charity, which you can donate to right now. And this one has you know, uh, $200 on it. I actually have to go back and donate $20 on this uh, because I, I said I would, but I'm going to donate $20 as, as soon as I finish editing this video. So I thought so much of the cause to make a permanent um, charity event, not, not just for the 12th through the 15th, like, like the email stated, but to make it a permanent event because, you know, this, this is something I truly want to get behind, truly believe in. I don't care that they left me off this stupid ass list, right? I, I don't care about this. What I do care about is them not promoting my content to potentially raise more money for this fundraiser, just because they have a personal narrative, a personal agenda. Someone has it out for you, boy. And, you know, it, it probably cost people a lot of money, a lot of mills. And I, I th that rubs me the wrong way, guys. Oh, look, the crown store. <laughs> it's weird. They had the crown store right next to their, their charity event. Uh, really weird. Uh, yeah. So, um, I, <laughs> I, I just wanted to uh, point this out um, to you guys. You know, again, here, we, we you know, through Tilt to Five, we generate $163. So, I, I just wanted to um talk about this because it, it has weighed on me a little bit and on the surface you know so what they 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 forgot a little bullet point they forgot your name horcrux stop crying blah 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 it shouldn't matter as long as you got the money for the people who needed yes that is 100 percent true but it is the reason that they left me off this list the fact that they would begrudge additional donations just to not support me on any platform that they have is, it is disheartening. It is disheartening as an ESO content creator and you guys you know, often criticize or wonder why I leave this game so much it is, is just, 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 just simply because they don't care. They do not care, guys. And I cannot stress enough Play this game in moderation. If you enjoy it, enjoy it, right? But for them to actively suppress my content just because they have some sort of personal vendetta against me in the past or ongoing, mind you, and all of my videos aren't negative about them. Like I said at the beginning of the video, when they do good, we praise them on when they do good. It's just that 90% of my videos are negative and bad and putting them down because they constantly make bad decisions and they don't learn from it they do not communicate and this is just a very small example of how like this is why i i don't enjoy dealer scrolls online because once you peel back the curtain once you see the wizard of oz the guys actually pulling the strings behind the curtain you lose all of the interest all of that immersiveness all of the the, the, the happiness all, all, all that you know mysterious wonder like, you lose all of that pretty much instantly once you actually see how things work. And uh, this this is just my thoughts on this. I just want to get this off my chest because I've been thinking about this. I didn't even want to make this video, but um, someone has to keep people in check. And whether you know, no one does, all, all the content creators are, are, are just gone, or they're just going to sent for ESO. And they they they, they no, while all of them, you know, like probably eighty percent of you know the people who work for Zoss and Zenimax, while they probably deserve their job, there's a lot of people that do not. I believe that there is a lot of bias, a lot of favoritism, obviously, in the Elder Scrolls Online with their community, right? You know, PvE, PvP, banning us for saying PvP in their chat. But because they have that favoritism and also biasism uh, to their community, they, they're also going to have that in their organization. So a lot of the people in their current positions are people they want in that position, not the people that they need in this position. And I personally think that there should be some pruning. I don't know if you guys seen some Loki, but I think some people should be ousted and uh, just put in their place and get people in there who's actually 
going to do their job and try to make ESO great again because this game is truly a diamond in the rough and it's just been led astray for far too long. And uh, yeah, this is uh, this is my rant. This is uh, your your drama fix for the week since we've not had a lot of drama in the Elder Scrolls Online. I hope you enjoyed the video. And again, guys, um, I will show you one more time. This is a current. I, I still have this up. If you want to donate to No Kids Hungry is a great foundation for every dollar we can earn. We can essentially feed you know, 10 meals to kids in need. Um, guys, not everyone's been dealt a pocket aces. Sometimes you get a jack two offsuit and you just need a chance in life. So this is still here. This is how much I believe in the cause. And uh, yeah, this is, I'm, I'm done ranting now. You guys have a great rest of your day and uh, see you.